In this video, I'm going to show you how I animated this YouTube intro. Let's begin. I was contacted by Alex to make a new video intro for his channel. He makes very funny gaming videos covering Minecraft, Roblox, and other adjacent things that are all thoroughly entertaining. Do check him out. The brief was to make something similar to the dino scene in my intro, but with stuff from his cinematic universe. I sketched this up in Procreate, I drew all of the assets in Illustrator, and then added the grain and texture in Photoshop. I used a custom Photoshop brush that I made that is available for download free in the description. I animated this over two days, so instead of making this a 16 hour tutorial, I'm gonna break down the most requested elements from the teasers that I put up on my Instagram stories. I'll cover the blobs at the start, the main burst of the objects outwards, and the dog's little paddling legs. For the blobs at the start, they were animated in Rough Animator on the iPad. I drew an X on a new layer where I wanted all of the blobs to converge at the end. And I drew that as a guide and extended that to cover eight frames. On a new layer, I drew a frame of a blob appearing from the bottom of the screen, created a new frame and drew it going further in that direction, and another following it once more. This is called animating straight ahead, where one drawing follows the previous one without much planning, so it feels kind of spontaneous. Then I wanted the blob to slow down. So on the next frame, it's much shorter and the front doesn't move as far ahead. And then on the next frame, shorter still and less movement. And I did that for two more frames slightly turning towards that X. And then on the last frame, a really long blob tapering into the center, covering a lot of ground. Because in the middle section here, we've got lots of frames close together, not moving very far, the motion appears to slow down and then speed back up at the last moment as it's sucked into the middle. I did another pass on this blob, creating a new layer and cleaning that up just using a bigger brush. And then I did that a bunch of times with slight variations to the size and the path and the speed of each blob. So then we get this chaotic collection of blobs going in all directions. And then I used the script on the Rough Animator website to import that project into After Effects. I did this main explosion here using a really neat scale expression. I'll demonstrate it on a simpler scene. Here I've got all the objects that will burst out from the center and they're all in their individual pre-comps. And I've got a null in the very center of our comp as well. I'm gonna select all of our orange comps, which are our objects and parent those to our null center. And then I'm going to animate the scale of this null. If we open up the scale with S on our keyboard and drag it up and down, you can see our objects can burst out from the middle. But when they go to the center, they get tiny, 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 and it looks like they're going into the distance rather than bursting out of the middle. We're going to use this magical expression to fix that. What this expression does is it takes the position from the scaling of the parent, but not the scale itself. I'll show you what that means. So with the doggo here, I'm going to open up his scale with S on the keyboard, Alt or Option click the stopwatch here to open up the expressions window, and then I'm going to paste in that expression. Now if we go back to our center null and adjust its scale, you can see that that dog's size maintains consistent. And now if we right click on its scale property over here and select copy expression only, we can select the other orange pre-comps, press Ctrl V, and it's pasted onto all of them. Wonderful. And then we just need to keyframe the scale of that null, adjust the curves in the graph editor to get the speed we want, and we're golden. You can then add individual rotations to each of these pre-comps by themselves, or even position and scale to get some more parallax. And with them all individually animated inside their own pre-comps, the whole thing looks like this. Now let's talk about the dog's legs. The roughs for these were done in Rough Animator 2. I used this gif of a dog swimming for reference and tried my best to apply that same motion to the leg shapes that I've got on here. I only animated one front and one back leg because I knew in After Effects I could just duplicate them, offset them, and then get a right and left version. To clean up these roughs, I used a shape layer in After Effects, which is my new favorite method. So to clean up this front leg with the pen tool selected, I'm gonna create a new shape by drawing over the top. I'm gonna lower its transparency so I can see the roughs underneath a little better. Change its name because we always label our layers. And then I'm gonna open up its path property, keyframe that, and on the next frame, make some adjustments to match the roughs underneath. And then continue that for the rest of the sequence. There's only 10 frames, so it didn't take long at all. I did that same process for both legs and the tail. For the grain shading on everything, I used the effect rough and edges on some shape layers. You can get the full nitty gritty on my method for that in my latest grain tutorial. And I used the same overlaying textures from my looping textures tutorial as well. I made a short playlist of some related videos that I think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far. I'll see you in the next video and please consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week.